If you have a TikTok, I'm sure you are no stranger to this ingredient. That's right, cottage cheese. This stuff has been all over my For You page in so many different recipes. So today we're gonna test it out. We're gonna do five different cottage cheese recipes and see if they pass the test, if they're actually good, because I promise I'll tell you the truth. So let's get to making some cottage cheese. Before we get started, hi, I'm Whitney. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Um, if you like today's video, I also share a lot of what I eat today, just my life in general, and everything in between my weight loss journey. So I hope you like and subscribe and come join our fam. Now let's get into the video. The first thing we are gonna make is cottage cheese ranch dip. So I have some ideas for meal prep this week and I really need some ranch for it. I've had a hard time finding a low calorie, high protein ranch that I really like. And you know, if you know me, I'm not currently counting my calories, but I'm still counting, I'm still like trying to add up the calories now of the meals I'm making. Just because summer's coming soon, I wanna make sure I'm feel the best I can be before summer. So I'm really focusing on the macros of my meals, just not tracking my day to day. Anyway, that's a different story. Right now we're talking cottage cheese. So I'm gonna make ranch dip. I'm gonna taste it the way the directions say, and then I might have an idea if I think I'll, it will improve it, then I'll add it. So, I mean, it's two ingredients, let's get to it. I'm gonna taste this and I have a feeling it's not gonna have the ranchy flavor I'm wanting, like the tartness. So if it doesn't, I'm gonna add a little bit of Greek yogurt to it. Wow. Um, wow. That is that is good. Wait a second. That is good. And it's hot right now because it's the blender. I'm going to taste it with one of these cucumbers. Why are so cute? Um, because I'm thinking it's a winner. Honestly, the best protein range I've had. I do not like the one with Greek yogurt. I think it's awful. <laughs> Greek yogurt, I think it's awful. It's way too tart for me. This is perfect. We have one cottage cheese winner. I'm gonna keep like a little tally up here. We have one. One out of five so far. We shall see. Okay, I'm gonna put this in a container and refrigerate it. I can't wait to use this this week. This next recipe is actually something I have made before, but it didn't turn out quite like I think it was supposed to. So I'm gonna tweak it a little bit and share it with you. Stay with me. Cottage cheese fudge. So it didn't turn out exactly like it was supposed to last time, but it tasted like a chocolatey cheesecake to me. I really enjoyed it. So let's try this again. And last time I made it a food processor, this time I'm using this blender. So let's go so it says we need one and a half cups of cottage cheese which Jonathan just helped me figure out is 339 grams if you don't measure in grams and you're measuring something i don't understand why not it's so much easier that's so much cottage cheese in there. 339 that's too much It's like right there. All right, that's close enough. Now we need to melt some chocolate. I'm gonna use the Lily's dark chocolate because I have it, but you can use regular chocolate. I need to use this up though. So Lily's dark chocolate, 
and it doesn't call for this, but I'm going to add in a tablespoon of this because not only I think it's gonna help the texture, I think it's gonna help with flavor. So we gotta melt, um, we, need one, we need half a cup of this melted and then we're gonna need a tablespoon of this. chocolate spatula. Let's just, I don't know if I need to grease this or line it or, oh well we're just going for it. You're probably supposed to put it on parchment but it's okay. Okay. I want to lick this off the spoon because last time I ate it plain like this. That's so much better than last time. The last time I made it, oh my God. The last time I made it, it had a, a please ignore Caitlin. It had a gritty texture. It tastes like chocolate cheesecake. A hundred percent. Oh, the pudding mix is the right move. Especially if you're gonna use dark chocolate like that. Add the pudding mix. That's incredible. I can't wait to see. I can't quit eating it. I can't wait to see what it does when it's refrigerated. That is good. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, so good. For these next two recipes, I'm literally just gonna take a whole entire tub of this and blend it and pour it back in this tub. So I'm just gonna do that really quick and then we'll move on to making the actual recipe. We are going to switch routes a little bit and go savory. So if I were two for two, here's a little tally mark. Yes, I love both of those. And I'm honestly so surprised. I was coming to this skeptical like, okay, I'm probably about to waste some cottage cheese, but I'm telling you, I wouldn't lie to you. If something's bad, I'm gonna tell you because I'm honest with you. Anyway, we're gonna switch gears to something savory. This is something I have personally made before. Um, before even like the cottage cheese like trend, we're gonna make some mac and cheese. We're gonna go high protein, lower calorie mac and cheese. It's gonna be for our meal prep and I'll share with the whole meal prep later this week, but let's make mac and cheese. So cottage cheese makes a fantastic mac and cheese. So that's what we're gonna make. It's super high protein. I'm using the Bonza pasta because I have it. Um, you can use whatever pasta you want. This one is higher protein than regular pasta. So the macros I put in the description, that's my stove. So the macros I put in the description box will reflect this protein, like the protein in this. But remember that if you change the pasta, this will change.
cheap to reduce that because I prefer American flavor, but you can always use um, cheddar or whatever you like. I'm just gonna do two slices of that. Let's go ahead and stir this up. Now, the most important ingredient is going to be mac and cheese powder. I got this one from Sam's, but you cannot beat the calories on it for the flavor. So I'm gonna use, I don't know how much of this yet, I'm gonna do it by eyeball it. Three grams, that's 11, I mean, that's three servings. And we're just gonna stir it up. It's kind of just like making healthy homemade, you know, whatchamacallit, Easy Mac, whatever it's called, craft. God, the pepper sugar's broken. Pepper to mine. And I'm also gonna add in a little bit of this pasta water. Let me get my three little pasta out there still in there. I think I'm burning pepper. <coughs> I am. <coughs> God, it was burning my throat. Okay, we all just tasted this and we love it. It got Jonathan's approval, it got Caitlin's approval, and mine. It is so good. So, we're three for three. Let's keep it going. That's the last one I'm gonna do tonight and the next one I'll pick up in the morning because it'll go with our breakfast. It's gonna be Alfredo sauce. And I'm gonna use that in a meal prep later on this week, but we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce together. You honestly won't believe how easy this is. I actually told Jonathan I would never buy Alfredo sauce again because if I can make it healthier for our kids and higher protein and not have to buy it in a jar, I would love to do that. So, let me show you how easy this comes together. There is one crucial thing I feel like is important that you have to have, and it's the Kinder's Cracked Pepper Parmesan Seasoning. You can get it at Walmart, at Sam's, anywhere online. It, the flavor it gives keeps you from having to add a bunch of cheese. So keep that in mind. Let's make this. playing kids are watching tv jonathan's in there with them <laughs> and it's time to make breakfast and our last cottage cheese hack i guess so far we're four for five and this is what i know that the girls love because i've given it to them before so cottage cheese eggs basically you just take eggs and you scramble in cottage cheese with them if you like cheesy eggs i'm personally not a fan of cheesy eggs but the girls love them if you like cheesy eggs you'll love this um, I'm just not a cheese person. Like, I don't like adding cheese to, like, my eggs. So, if you like that, though, you'll love this. So, we're just going to scramble some eggs with some cheese, and that's it.
Come tell me if you like your eggs. Yeah, very cheesy. What do you think? Got cheesy eggs. Like right? That's what it tastes like. It don't taste like kind of cheese. No. So this is the copycat KFC bowl. Uh, not KFC bowl. Chick fil A mm -hmm. breakfast bowl. Um, if you want this recipe, I have it on shorts. But another way I use cottage cheese, I just put it on the side when I like stuff like this for breakfast. I'm sure you've seen me do like the Felicia combo before if you're not new here. So cottage cheese. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And so it's hot. It's such an easy added protein. I love it. <laughs> the girls and Jonathan are playing hide and seek and I got ready for the day finally. And I want to taste this with you because I did taste it last night, but let's taste it after it sat in the fridge all night. It actually has a great consistency. Do you see? That is so good. Do you see the consistency of it? How it's like, like, I don't know, it's thick, but it's not exactly like fudge, but it's so thick. I'd say it's one step below fudge. So we are five for five. We love cottage cheese. And I hope this video made you love cottage cheese just as much as me. And I'm sorry about my children. <laughs> That's going to be all for me today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you like and subscribe and come join our family. And we will see you next time. Bye.